Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsham Ali Khan. So far, four problems I have completed on queuing theory. Now in this uh, video, four more problems I'm going to explain. That is problem number five, from problem number five. So all the problems on queuing theory are based on the formulae. The formulas are LSLQ, WS, WQ, then PO and Rho. Totally six formulas are there. So if you have watched the earlier videos, definitely you are in a position to remember the application of those formulas. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject, operation research, select the videos of queuing theory, be perfect on the theory concepts and also the formulas, then you can easily understand the problems. So before starting the fifth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problems, take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the problem number five. <clears throat> Fifth problem. In a bank, checks are cashed at a single teller counter, that means single channel. Customers arrive at the counter in a poison manner at an average rate of 30 customers per hour. This is the lambda, arrival rate, 30 customers per hour. The teller takes on an average one minute, one and a half to cash the check minute and half to cash the check that means one and a half minute is required to serve one customer to cash a check the service time has been shown to be exponentially distributed calculate the percentage of time the teller is busy that means utilization factor traffic intensity means same traffic intensity or utilization factor or percentage of time the server is busy means same Rho. The formula is Rho. Lambda by Mu. That's what we are to apply. And calculate the average time a customer is expected to wait. Where he has to wait? In the queue. So we want WQ. So only two questions are asked. Before finding out any uh, answer to any question, first of all we need Lambda and Mu. Arrival rate and service rate. In the problem, arrival rate is given 30 customers per hour directly given. Whereas service rate, mu, is not directly given. It is given that a minute and half. That means one and a half minute to serve one customer. So in 1.5 minutes, one customer served. One check is cashed. How many minutes are there in an hour? 60 minutes. So in 60 minutes, how many customers will be served? Because when arrival rate is per hour, so service rate also we need per hour. How many customers will be served in one hour? So 60 by 1.5 into 140. So mu is equal to 40 customers per hour. 30 customers is the arrival rate, 40 customers is the service rate. Now easily we can substitute the first question. Percentage of time the teller is busy. It is nothing but traffic intensity or utilization factor. The formula is rho, lambda by mu, lambda by mu, 3 by 4, 30 by 40. That comes to 0.75. So 75% of time, the server is busy. 25% of time, the server is idle. That means no customers are there. But here it is asking you, what is the percentage of time the teller is busy? Teller is busy for 75% of time. Next, seven, uh, average time a customer is expected to wait in the queue. The formula is WQ. The formula is lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda. Already in so many problems we have applied. Lambda and mu already we have 30 divided by 40 into 40 minus 30. It comes to 30 by 40. 30 by 400. That comes to 0 0.075 R. Because time is measured in terms of R. The so 0 0.075 R. So if you want to convert it into minutes, multiply by 60. 
So 0 0.075 into 60, you will get 4.5 minutes. So we can say 0 0.075 hour or we can say 4.5 minutes. Both means same. That's all. This is the end of problem number 5. Now I'm reading out problem number 6. TV repairman finds that the time spent on his job has an exponential distribution with mean 30 minutes. That means one TV set will be served, will be, uh, I mean, uh, service will be given for 30 minutes. If he repairs sets on first come first served basis, and if the arrival of the set is approximately poison with an average rate of 10 per 8 hour day, the arrival rate is 10 sets are arriving in a day of 8 hours. Here time is given per day and day consists of 8 hours. So 10 customers are arriving on a day of 8 hours. That is the arrival rate. So here I am writing arrival rate per day of 8 hours is 10. Service rate per day of 8 hours is 16. How 16? See here. Every half an hour. One set will be served every half an hour. That means in one hour, two sets. In one hour, two sets will be serviced. How many hours are there in a day? 8 hours. So 8 into 2 means 16. In one day, 16 TV sets can be serviced. That is the mu. Service rate per day of 8 hours is 16 because 30 minutes per TV set. Now, repairman's expected idle time each day. First question is, what is the expected idle time each day? So, repairman will be idle when there are no units in the whole system. That means the shop is empty, no customers are there. Then the repairman will be empty. So, what is the probability that there are no units in the whole system? That is PO. The formula for PO is 1 minus lambda by mu. This is the formula already we have done in the previous form. PO is equal to 1 minus lambda by mu. 1 minus 10 divided by 16. If you take the LCM 16, then 16 minus 10 is 6 by 16 or 3 by 8. So probability that the repairman will be idle is 3 by 8. That is 3 8th of his time he will be idle. Do the whole time. 3 eighths of the whole time he will remain idle. Whole time means per day how many hours are there? 8 hours. So 8 into 3 by 8, 3 hours. In a day of 8 hours the idle time is 3 by 8 into 8. You will get 3 hours. So repairman's idle time per day is 3 hours. First question completed. Now second question average number of units in the system. Average number of units in the whole system. LS. The formula LS is lambda divided by mu minus lambda. So lambda, uh, lambda is 10, mu is 16. So 10 divided by 16 minus 10, 6. 10 by 6, 1.67. So average number of units in the whole system is 1.67. One of the limitations of queuing theory is we may get the units in fraction. In reality, we may not have fractional values for units. But here for theoretical purpose, we have to assume the units may be in fraction. <coughs> seventh problem. Now, see the seventh problem. Telephone users arrive at a booth, telephone booth, following a poison distribution with an average time of five minutes between one arrival and the next. Every five, five minutes, one customer is arriving. So in 60 minutes, how many customers will arrive? So here, Lambda is equal to arrival rate. In 5 minutes, one customer arrives. In 60 minutes, how many customers? Because we need per hour. R consists of 60 minutes. So 60 divided by 5 into 1, 12. That means the arrival rate is 12 customers per hour. In 1 hour, 12 customers are arriving. And the time taken for a telephone call is on an average 3 minutes. And it follows exponential distribution. Service time. Every customer takes 3 minutes to make the call. On call, he is on 3 minutes. So every 3 minutes, one customer served. In 60 minutes, how many customers? Service rate. In 3 minutes, one customer served. 60 minutes, how much? 60 by 3 into 120 customers. So we got lambda, we got mu. 
lambda arrival rate 12 customers per hour and mu service rate 20 customers per hour we have calculated now what is the probability that the booth is busy probability that the booth is busy that is traffic intensity that is uh, utilization factor rho lambda by mu so here you can see probability that the booth is busy traffic intensity or utilization rate rho lambda by mu 12 by 20 that comes to 0.6 so 0.6 is the probability that the booth is busy or 60 percent of time the booth is busy second how many more booths should be established to reduce the waiting time to less than or equal to half of the present waiting time now the booth owner wants to reduce the waiting time to half whatever they have now so how many booths are required so that the waiting time present waiting time will become half so first of all we calculate what is the present waiting time of the customer in the whole system here number of booths that is required if waiting time be less than or equal to half of the present waiting time that is the question so first of all we need what is the present waiting time of the customer in the whole system that is ws 1 divided by mu minus lambda 1 divided by mu minus lambda 1 divided by 20 minus 12 20 here mu 12 lambda so 1 divided by 20 minus 12 is 1 by 8 the present waiting time of the customer in the whole system is 1 by 8 r 1 by 8 r now they want to half it so 1 by 8 into 1 by 2 half so it will become 1 by 16 so new waiting time of the customer will be 1 by 16 so how many booths are required to make this one side 1 by 16 now again we apply the formula for average waiting time new waiting time will take so w dash ws dash dash means new waiting time we are calculating already waiting time we have the present waiting time is 1 by 8 the proposed or the new waiting time is ws dash 1 divided by mu dash minus lambda ws means waiting time new waiting time already we have calculated 1 by 16 and 1 divided by mu dash mu means service rate new service rate we are going to find out and lambda arrival rate is remaining same arrival rate is not in our hands the customers are arriving to the booth it is not a controllable so 12 customers lambda already we have the only unknown value is mu new mu we have to find out now cross multiply mu dash minus 12 into 1 is equal to mu dash minus 12 16 into 1 is 16 now keep the mu dash on life left hand side and take this 12 to rhs so minus 12 will become plus 12 16 plus 12 will become 28 so mu dash is 28 what is mu dash new service rate that means in one hour 28 customers should be served but presently what is the service rate here 20 in one booth only 20 customers can be served only one booth 20 customers here we need to serve 28 customers in one hour one booth is not possible so how many extra booths are required to give the service to 28 customers so here therefore new service rate should be 28 customers per hour number of booths required for providing service to 28 customers per hour so 28 customers divided by 20 customers because one booth 20 customers can be served in 28 booths uh, 28 customers how many booths are required so 28 divided by 20 is 1 by 1.4 booths theoretically it is saying that 1.4 booths are required to reduce the waiting time to half presently waiting time is 1, point, 1 by 8 new waiting time is 1 by 16 to make it 1 by 16 waiting time we require 1.4 booths but 1.4 booth is not possible practically so we'll round it off to two booths we suggest 
two booths are required so that the waiting time will be half of the present waiting time. Next, problem number eight. A TV repairman finds that the time spent on his jobs has an exponential distribution with mean 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes, one customer will be served. If he repairs the sets in the order in which they come and if the arrivals of the set is approximately poison with average rate of 20, uh, 10 per 8 hour day. Again, just now we have seen here the time period is given in day. Day consists of 8 hours. In 8 hours, 10 customers are arriving. So lambda arrival rate per day of 8 hours, 10 customers are arriving. Service. Service will be done 20 minutes per customer. 20 minutes per customer. So in 20 minutes, one customer served in 60 minutes because one hour consists of 60 minutes. So 60 divided by 20 into 1 is 3 customers per hour. But we don't require per hour, we require per day. Day consists of 8 hours. So every hour, how many customers are served? 3 customers. Every hour, 3 customers. 8 hours are there. How many customers? 8 into 3. 24 customers. So mu is equal to 24 customers per day. Now repairman's idle time each day. Idle time means PO 1 minus lambda by mu. 1 minus 10 by 24. So it comes to PO 0 0.5833. This is the probability that the idle time. So idle time per day 0 0.5833 into 8 is 4.67 hours. That is the repairman's idle time per day. So repairman's idle time per day, each day, PO. The repairman will be idle when there are no customers in the whole system. The probability that there are no units in the whole system is PO. The formula is 1 minus lambda by mu. So 1 minus uh, 10 by 24. 10 is the arrival rate, 24 is the service rate. So if you take the LCM 24, then 24 minus 10, 14 by 24. So it comes to 0 0.5833, 0 0.5833, this is the probability that the idle, that the repairman will be idle. So in a day of 8 hours, how many hours he will be idle? So 0.5833 into 8, 4.67 hours. So during the whole day, 4.67 hours, the repairman may be idle. That's it. Now last point is number of jobs ahead of a new set just arrived in. That is average number of units in the system. It is asking you how many units are just before a new TV set arrives in. That means how many present number of units are there in the whole system when a new set has been just brought in. So when a new customer comes, how many units are there in the whole system? That is average number of units in the whole system that is ls we have to find out how many units are there ls the formula for ls is lambda divided by mu minus lambda so lambda 10 divided by 24 minus 10 10 by 14 ls is 0 0.71 so 0 0.7 0 0.71 is the number of units just before a new tv set arrives in that's it this is the end of problem number eight so, so far I have completed 8 problems on this topic of queuing theory. It's very easy. All the problems are based on the formulas. So, you have to be perfect on the formulas. And also, apart from that, every question you will have one or two new points. Remaining 90% of points are same. It depends on arrival rate and the service rate. That's all. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comments, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.